up there. Everything I did last class period's up. What I like to do is show you guys how to subtract two trinomials. Um, first thing that we got to look at is when we when I'm saying subtract this trinomial, what you got to remember is I'm subtracting the x squared, the two x, and the five. This is that's why we put the parentheses around there for you to understand. I'm subtracting this whole trinomial. So what I'm going to do just to help you understand it is I'm going to rewrite this. And I'm going to distribute that subtraction sign to all three of my terms. So I have a negative x squared minus 3x plus 4, and I don't really read, need to write the parentheses, minus an x squared minus a 2x and minus a 5. And the reason why I can do that is because I'm not just subtracting the x squared, I'm subtracting this whole quantity, which is a trinomial. Now, you can only subtract and add your like terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite it with my like terms next to each other. So I have an x squared minus an x squared. I have a negative 3x minus a 2x. And I have a 4 minus a 5. So now I know I can only combine these two. I can only combine these. And I can only combine those. All right. So an x squared minus an x squared is a negative 2x squared. A negative 3x minus 2x is a negative 5x. And a 4 minus 5 is a negative 1. So that's how you subtract two, two trinomials, and you get a trinomial.